Things you probably don't know about Michael Jordan's wife, Yvette Prieto. Michael Jordan, also known by his initials MJ, born on February 17, 1963, is an American businessman and former basketball player. He was the powerhouse behind the Chicago Bulls team. He became a pop culture phenomenon, starring in the movie Space Jam and having his own shoe, the Air Jordan, and excelling at the sport of basketball. Although Michael's professional life is very well known, his personal life is not very well known especially regarding his love life. Michael's first wife, Juanita Vinoy, gave him three celebrity offspring. Yes, we mean three beautiful children. But Michael and Juanita's relationship ended in 2006. After splitting from Juanita, Michael met Yvette Prieto, a former model living in Miami, Florida. Michael and Yvette are now married, but keep their relationship super private. Here's a list of things you probably don't know about Michael's wife, Yvette Prieto. First, she's Cuban-born. Yvette Prieto was born on March 26, 1979 in Cuba, but grew up in Miami, Florida, which is the perfect place to celebrate her Cuban heritage. In Miami, she worked as a model for designers like Alexander Wang. Given Yvette's shorter stature of 5 foot 6 inches, she probably did a lot of print jobs as opposed to runway work. Number 2. She has famous exes. Apparently, Yvette is used to the spotlight. Before Michael, she dated Enrique Iglesias' brother, Julio Iglesias Jr., Julio certainly isn't as famous as his brother, but he did find some success with music and television work that was geared toward the Latin community. Being a model at the time, Yvette was the perfect companion. Number three, she found love in the club. In 2007, just one year after divorcing Juanita Vinoy, Michael met Yvette while visiting a Miami nightclub. Given how they met, it's obvious that Michael was initially attracted to Yvette's outer beauty. However, considering how long they've lasted for over 13 years, He's someone who appreciates her incredible character as well. Number four, she almost had a royal wedding. Yvette and Michael's 2013 wedding was super lavish. They had a Palm Beach wedding ceremony, which featured a beautifully decorated 40,000 square foot tent for dancing, food, and fun. Moreover, Robin Thicke and Usher were wedding singers. Number five, she's a stepmom and a mom. Being Michael Jordan's wife means dealing with media attention and an ex-wife but it also offers perks such as wealth and high social status. Yvette now has three adult stepchildren from Michael's previous marriage, and she also has her own set of twins with the basketball star, Isabel and Victoria. Number six, Michael is her first husband. When Michael and Yvette were wed in 2013, Yvette was 34 years old, and Michael was her first husband. So Yvette was second in line to Juanita Vinoy, Michael's first wife and the mother of three of his children. Luckily for Yvette, Michael and Juanita are pretty chill co-parents. They don't have much drama. Number seven, she had money issues. Yvette Prieto filed for bankruptcy in 2002 when she was only 23 years old. Yvette's past is pretty murky, so it's hard to say exactly why she was in such a bind. One can only hope that her history of dating wealthy men isn't based on some desperate money situation. One thing's for sure, she's not hurting for cash now. Number eight, she has a great reputation. Yvette's ex, Julio Iglesias Jr., has only great things to say about his former partner. Apparently, she's beautiful inside and out and has a great big heart. Michael's a lucky man. It's rare for someone to speak kindly about his or her ex. Number nine, she's a lavish lady. For the wedding, Yvette wore a Jeton designer wedding dress made of French silk and Swarovski crystals. She looked absolutely stunning. Yet, she was somewhat of an older bride being 34 years old but the wait was worth it. Jeton had dressed the likes of Beyonce and Charlize Theron, so Yvette was in great company. Number 10, she loves basketball. Michael Jordan is a basketball legend. It only makes sense that he can't stay away from the game. Currently, the owner of the Charlotte Hornets basketball team, Michael frequently watches basketball games, and Yvette tags along. These two actually enjoy watching the game. They aren't there just for show. Number 11, she's been featured in a documentary. Back in the days before Michael, Yvette was a force all by herself. She always has been incredibly beautiful with a stunning personality. Therefore, it makes sense that she was featured in the documentary Cuba, an Island Apart. Apparently, her role wasn't that big, but she definitely represented the country well. Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment below and be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our page so that you can get more great content just like this.
Oh.